<laughs> hey, what's up? How's it going? I'm back. Uh, I know this isn't the video you're probably expecting. You were probably expecting the 1,000 subscriber special. It's, it's all up to if I decide to record it this week or if it's recorded in two weeks. So, it's coming. It's just either going to be slowly coming or out this week sometime. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into the topic of this video. <laughs> why Why I hate family reunions. Now, I know you hear my accent and you see that the video is about family reunions, so you're probably thinking it's about me like going into the outhouse and having sex with my cousin. Uh, unfortunately, that will not be the topic of this video. Although, if it was the topic, it would make for a pretty amazing video, I would imagine. But no, this one is going to be about a uh, random... <laughs> random drug head that showed up at my family reunion and then after I tell the story we're gonna look at some wholesome family fails to end it off uh, but yeah let's uh let's get a quick rundown of the story that I'm talking about I get to the family reunion we're all sitting there there's a little less people this year obviously because of the whole corona thing going on and I'm just sitting there with uh, the family that I do know because 90% of the people there I, do, I have no idea who they are so you know I'm just sitting with the family that I actually know you know everything is going as as planned as uh, Per usual they're having a little family church service out of the the background <laughs> i see a dude emerge from this very rundown building you know this is a building that no one really should be living in but he stumbles out you know obviously he's on something very obviously stumbling across his yard so i guess he spots us out of his you know crackhead zoom vision and uh decides he's gonna come on over and see what's going on over there so he walks over with a coffee mug in one hand and a pack of cigarettes in the other Stumbles across the road, goes down across a ditch, and then over the railroad track over to where we are, under a tent. And you know, he just, uh, he acts like a predator, just stalking around his prey, walks around a couple times. I'm not really sure what he's going to try at this point. He just goes over, right beside the preacher at the table, lights up a cigarette, smokes it a little bit, puts it down on the table, takes a drink of coffee, takes a seat down at the picnic table with the rest of the family. They invite him to sit down for some reason. He shouts out loud while the guy is still preaching and says, Anyone want some coffee? <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, man. You know, after he offers coffee, everyone politely declines because, you know, no one's trying to find out where that coffee comes from. I couldn't imagine where it comes from. Once again, he uh, comes back with different clothes on, stumbles around some more, doesn't have the wife beater on anymore. Comes back, stumbles back around, goes and sits bo directly behind me, which is across from my cousin who has a baby. <laughs> Apparently he used to go to school with her, so he knew her, and <laughs> he gets down on one knee and says, My cousin's name, will you marry me? <laughs> and then I kid you not, directly after he says, will you marry me? <laughs> he flips back in the chair after he tries to sit down when she says no. And he, <laughs> he falls backwards and slams on the ground. And I, hear, I just hear the chair go pow, like a metal chair's back in the ground. <laughs> I turn around and I just see him just stumbling, trying to get up. Dude, it was it was in the middle of a church service, so everyone was trying to be quiet. And I just I was dying laughing. <laughs> Me and my other cousin were staring at each other, and we were dying laughing. <laughs> that is the funniest thing I've ever witnessed at a family reunion. It's so awful, but it's so hilarious. And you know that was uh, definitely the highlight of the family reunion. There, he goes up at some point and tries to put his arm around the the pastor guy that's preaching and tries to hug him. And then the pastor basically just politely tells him to uh, F off and go sit in the chair. So, you know, he doesn't want to sit down. So he uh, takes a couple more laps, goes back, grabs his cigarettes and coffee off the table and uh, walks back across the road. But little do we know, our protagonist will be coming back for a third visit very shortly. So he goes back in and changes clothes once again and comes back with actual shoes on this time because he was barefoot the rest of the time. He comes back with slides on this time. He goes out to the left this time around the fence Come, emerges back from the trees without shoes on. Don't ask me where his shoes went. And then he stumbles off across into the other tree line and goes back to his little house. And I didn't see or hear from him again at the family reunion. So sadly, this tale of a crackhead in love has to come to an end. He came over, he shot his shot, uh, sadly got rejected in an embarrassing fashion. He took it like a champ though, and he just walked it off and uh, took his losses, counted his losses. And he... Um, Probably will be back for the next year's family reunion, which I'm looking forward to, honestly. And since this beautiful story has come to an end, it's, uh, I believe it's time to react to some family fails and family reunion fails. We got old Becky trying to, uh, cross the, the seesaw plank. I don't really know what to say. I've never seen this before. She's doing good so far. She's got some good stability. Ooh. Okay. Everyone's just cheering her on from the back. Like, Ooh. Let's go, Mom. 
Don't, definitely don't fall. I would imagine that is the goal. Oh, she's she's getting wobbly. Oh no. Oh, there she goes. Oh my god. Oh, she ate it. I'm not gonna say which part of her ate it, but something ate that uh that wooden pole. Sorry for the uh video quality. This is awful quality. They will catch you. He said they will catch you. And I'm guessing since this is a fail, they didn't catch him. So he's a liar. Three. Oh my God! Why would you? <laughs> How dumb do you have to be to fall forward and hit trust fall? Everyone in the entire world knows you have to fall backwards. Oh my God! <laughs> Hold on, let me rewind this. I just want you to hear this old man's yell. I just want you to hear this old man's yell again. Oh, let's back it up a couple seconds. Just listen to this guy yell. Three. No, wait, no, no. <laughs> no, wait, no, no. Oh, watch out for that wave, buddy. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> Man's way too old to be swinging. Oh, my Lord. You need to get your hops up, man. You need to get your hops up. Man, that had, man had no chance. That dude had no chance. He was not even close to clearing that pool. Hold up. <laughs> Anyone else see a problem with that? Why would you Why would you dive into seawater that you know is only at your ankles? That's literally like a, the most zero IQ play I've ever seen in real life. So, I mean, props to him, I guess. I'm, I mean, the dive form was pretty decent, but the, <laughs> the location wasn't ideal. <laughs> oh, my. oh, he's gonna kill him. They deserve to die after that. <laughs> you bo, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Watch out, man. There may be an abominable snowman in your basement any time. Hey, what's up, Gustavo, baby? Mayonnaise. <laughs> whip, whip, mayonnaise. <laughs> that superb mayonnaise spreading form. I do gotta give it to him there, at least. <laughs> oh my god. I think I think that's enough. I don't want to hear about grandma pooping in her pants anymore. <laughs> that's enough for me. I'm signing out. I'll see you guys next time. Stay sexy.